Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Check out this incredible 1996 Mustang GT convertible. And yes, it is a five speed and it is in this incredible deep violet metallic uh, with a white top and white interior. This car only has a little over 14,000 miles on it and it is unbelievably clean. It's as close to a 1996 must, new Mustang as you could possibly get. Do a little walk around here uh, with the uh, top up and then we'll drop the top and show you all the details. And here is the one coming up next afterwards. A uh, little teaser there. So here's a quick little walk around this car. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect. There's, I mean, you gotta look for any little flaws, but it is as close to perfect as it comes. I'll kind of show you the top here. Give you a little walk around. The top is immaculate. This whole car is like new. So we'll go ahead and do the walk around and then we will put the top down, give you another little spin and go into the details. Oh man, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I'm gushing. Oh boy, let's do a little walk around here. I put the little parade uh, boot cover on, got it. It, that was easy to put on, a lot easier than the uh, old 84. Sneak peek of this interior oh, and this paint color. Uh, be sure to go to the website and stuff because I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have pictures out in the uh, direct sunlight with this thing. But you can kind of see with the lights and everything uh, how it just pops. When you're in the shade, it just kind of looks all solid dark purple, and you really uh, just don't to see it. But actually, it's doing pretty well in the lights. Um, pretty amazing see what happened so i went out earlier and drove it uh because i was losing light so now i'm kind of coming back in uh to do the overview <laughs> uh so kind of getting this out of sequence but it's dark out now and so i don't get the flooded in light and uh so it actually makes the car the camera and everything really pop so that actually worked out for the best let's dive into this mustang uh like i said i mean the car is almost perfect but of course a car that's driven 14,000 miles from 1996 is going to have some little things and i'll just show you really the only thing that i really see on this car is there's a little bitty spot on the hood right here and it's some little lines in the paint i don't know what it is so my guess is this okay my guess is there was a dent there and somebody pdr'd it and uh and then it cracked the paint that would be my guess I didn't do it, I got it like that, but probably had a small little bitty dent right there. And then the PDR guy didn't do a good job and didn't uh, warm the paint up and maybe crack the paint. But other than that, I mean, this car is stunning. Jump in here, there's the park light, headlight, perfect. I'll go across the front here. Fog light, super nice. I mean, there's the tiniest little pit here and there, little rock chip, you know. There's a few of those. Uh, some of them might be bugs, but you can just see a few little chips. But I mean, that is kind of to be expected. This car's been driven. There's the Mustang. That is such an, what an icon. What a gorgeous emblem. Look down in the grill right in there. It is super nice. Left headlight, park light is perfect. Bumper, maybe just a, like I said, just a few little you know, I'm not gonna point out every little one, but just a few little chips. Fog light is nice, even underneath the bumper. Very, very nice. Look at that, super. Uh, and I'll go show you under the car here after I do the overview, and it is pristine underneath the car. It is just immaculate. As a matter of fact, I just had the tires balanced. Uh, my buddy, uh, Tyler Pod, who actually has a YouTube channel himself. Um, anyway, he did the uh, balancing of the tires and he was like, the under clean of the underbody of that car is amazing. <laughs> he couldn't believe how clean it was underneath of there. Uh, looking here across the hood. I love those little vents right there. That is really neat. But you can see that hood is perfect. Look at that purple, deep violet. 
Yeah, it looks so good now that the, it's gone dark outside. I don't have that ambient light flooding me out. All right, and here are the wheels, and they are super nice. I don't see anything on them at all. And uh, we got Goodyear, uh, what do you got here? Eagle Sports, and they are from, looks like 17. So still good on the tires. A little on the old side, but they're soft, they're grippy. They haven't been exposed at all. So I definitely would not change them. There's the uh, really cool added side exhaust. It sounds fantastic. GT 4.6 liter. The mirrors are amazing. You know, if this was my car, I would consider painting the mirrors. Don't know, that's just kind of a crazy idea, but I think it might look kind of cool. Might be hard to match this paint though. Windshield, super nice condition. If you can read that VIN's number, I'll get the tag in the door too. Windshield is super nice. Maybe just a couple of little bitty, I mean, very minor pits. That's just water spots right there from driving it. There you go. But you can see just a few little bitty minor pits. Super nice. Not a door ding on this car. I don't think there's a flaw one down the side of it. Looks like the double stick tape has kind of let go right there a little bit. Easy enough to pop that off and get that done. Maybe a little boot scuff right there on the rocker. They did a good job of paint matching those, by the way. The rear wheel. And like I said, these tires are super nice. Just had them balanced and rotated. Had just the tiniest, tiniest bit of flat spot because I mean, this car's hardly been driven. So, but he balanced them, road force balanced them and everything and they came out real nice. Little water spot there, but look at that. I love that spoiler too. I love all the details. I love that little roll hoop they put in there with the third brake light, the side pipes, just the perfect little add on touches. And I'm kind of picky about, you know, adding on things to a car. You know, a lot of, you know, any aftermarket or modifications, I get a little bit skeptical, but everything they've done on this car is perfect taste and perfect style, and I wouldn't change it at all. I think that spoiler's factory, and it's gorgeous. Look at the way that purple paint is. Oh my God. <laughs> the paint on this car is stunning. There you go. And the thing about this car, like I said, this is a, a uh, Canadian built car. So if you guys know, um, how, how would I find out on this car, uh, production numbers of this color and interior? I've never seen this combination before. Uh, was this a Canadian spec only color combo? Um, if you guys have any information, be sure to comment on that. I appreciate that. And look here across the back. It is super nice. And it even has a hidden hitch right there. <laughs> is that crazy? One little bitty. Uh, I can't even feel it, so that would buff right out one little bitty mark there. Look at that. Badges are perfect. Gas cap inside there. Perfect. Right rear wheel. Perfect. So this rocker here, I need to get some touch-up paint from Van Gogh. Uh, they polished it. I think they got some touch-up paint. So you'll see um, this was actually cracked before and they didn't do a good job and it actually came loose. And so we actually went in behind it and put plastic behind that crack and used panel bond and reinforced it. So now it is stronger than it was originally and it, <laughs> it will never let go. So we fixed that. And then we also, see look there, we did new uh, tape on the side there. So this side's perfect. 
So that turned out really good. But yeah, just showing you. I, I don't even have to show you that, but just showing you that's something that we did. They had fixed it and then it uh, actually fell, fell apart on us. And so we redid it. Looking down the quarter panel and then side of the car. Wow. Oh man. This is so cool. Just love that. I think I forget. Somebody told me. Uh, I think on a sneak peek or something, somebody told me the brand of that. Real popular mod. So we got the little shorty antenna on here and the original antenna is in the trunk. So kind of, I thought about swapping it back, but I kind of like it. And the radio reception has been perfect. So I saw no reason to, I saw no reason to change it. And I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> Don't need that big long whip. Down the side, look at that, immaculate. Love this car. Sorry, I, I, uh, uh, I need help. Let's pop the hood. Here's underneath the hood, and it is just incredible. And I have not touched this car under the hood, literally. As a matter of fact, I could have wiped off the the uh, rails a little bit. Maybe I'll grab my rag and go do that. <laughs> this car's so nice. But literally, I mean. I thought, you know, I'd probably have to spray some dust off underneath here because, like I said, I've driven this thing over a thousand miles. I thought it might be dusty. And I popped the hood in the wash bay to spray it off, and I went, I'm not even going to touch this. It is just too nice. Here's our VIN sticker still on our hood. Original, all original sheet metal there. That's not going to focus. Nope. <laughs> Being difficult. Here is one of the stickers, right there. I don't know why the new iPhone does not want to focus right. How frustrating. But anyway, you can see, just absolutely looks amazing underneath the hood. Go ahead and fire it up for you guys. Let's do that. You can hear it run, because it just sounds fantastic. Go ahead. Neutral. Pop the key in. Here we go. <laughs> Got the clock. 400 watts. <laughs> I better shut that down. All right, here we go. Dinging's kind of annoying. Close the door so I can shut that up. But listen to that exhaust. Just unbelievable. And these are such smooth engines. <laughs> All right, thought you might like that. We'll go ahead and uh, show you inside the trunk. I had to do this first. <laughs> I had to do it. Couldn't close the hood without wiping those. It's kind of like wiping your door jams. It's just kind of the details of the car. pretty <laughs> I have a lot of fun with this as you guys can probably tell I really enjoy cleaning up the cars because you just kind of really get to know the car you know look at that so pretty okay now for the trunk <laughs> Got the trunk open, and you can see how nice it is all through here. Uh oh, looks like I have to get my toothbrush out and do some cleaning. <laughs> There's all our thin stickers. Look at the trunk lid. That purple is cool. Sorry, I keep saying that. There we 
Here's our truck. Absolutely. I've never popped this up here. Let's see what we got underneath here. Oh, there's the antenna, by the way. See that right there? There's the antenna. Okay. Oh, check it out. Look at that. Still got the grease in the threads. Hey, there's the receiver for the hitch. Oh, that is awesome. And also, too, we'll have pictures of all the manuals and records and receipts and everything in the photo gallery on the website. So, there is underneath there's our spare gotta remind myself to check the yeah it's low it's not flat but it's low and then here is our antenna i think i'll just kind of i think i'll set it under here i'll just put it underneath there so there we go then rattle around back there that way <laughs> all right there's your trunk now for the special treat let's dive into the interior and here we go I love, love, love this interior. Start with the door panel here. Door panel is basically perfect. Even these soft touch plastics, look at that. There's not even any fingernail marks in them. And it's and it's that soft touch. It's, listen, you hear me squeak there? See, there's the vinyl. And it's that soft touch rubberized kind of coating. Those are usually completely peeled up. There is nothing. Not any, hardly any fingernail scratches. There's the handle. And I'll tell you too, let's see if I can get a better mock. Uh, 450 is what that says. Stupid phone won't zoom in, aggravating. So I love this, just a little bit off-white on this interior, kind of like an ivory cameo or something like that. And pedals are obviously perfect, floor mats. Are, there's just a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of compression there on the fibers. And then underneath this, let me see here. Underneath the mat, the carpets are absolutely per perfect underneath. Never been, never had feet on them, guaranteed. A little boot marker. I don't know if that's just dirt. It doesn't feel worn or anything. A little discoloration there. Maybe wipe it off. There's the Vintag. Like I said, this car is a Canadian built car. Very cool. Are you gonna focus or not? Jeez. Canada. the focus I guess make it focus there we go for the threshold it is fantastic look at that super nice and here is the seat and I was gonna oh I was gonna tell you too on this interior I haven't cleaned it with anything all I did was take my car wash you know my sponge after that, I, after I rinse it out, and uh, and then I literally just uh, wiped the interior down with a damp cloth, essentially. That's all I did to the interior. Let's get close here. You can see the bolsters. I don't know. Maybe natural light might be better. That light's kind of flooding it out there. Have to focus again. But look at that. The seats, the shadowing, the lighting. Actually, it looks. Kind of funky in this lighting, but those seats are amazing and super duper comfortable. Power on the front seat, manual on the driver's seat. So we got that. And we got lumbar right there and a little thigh bolster support. Kind of a neat little seat belt catch right there to hang it up there and there. So your seat belt lays right there where you want it. Very cool. And manual transmission nice stereo this one has the cassette and CD option look at that shift knob perfect 23,400 kilometers it's about 14,500 miles 
and might get a few hundred more miles. <laughs> I'm really enjoying driving this car. There's our switch for our top and our fog lights. Guess I'll try to slide in here, show you the dash. All right, dash going across the dash is perfect. I love the look of that and I love the two-tone. Love the way the color goes in the dash and that, that uh, little concave deal. And then, then it swoops down on the door. Great style, absolutely love it. Got our cruise control works, rear defrost, love that. Here is a little guy right here, a little ashtray, never been used. I never even touched it. I never even looked in it until now. So we got a cigarette lighter there and then a little, hit a little power port right here. There you go, a little power port. There's, I mean, zero wear on anything. And I tell you, I always kind of say this, but this car is an extreme example of this car smells absolutely, I, I would call it intoxicating. <laughs> There's our mirror. Um, hey. <laughs> it, it just has this rich, I don't know, baseball glove smell. Like it, it's, it's unique smell in this car. Very, very strong leather smell in a good way. Oh man, it is just fantastic. Oh, here's the uh, little, uh, I found this in the center console, the little permit to get it across the border there. We'll go ahead and leave that with it. Like I said, we got the other books outside of the car, but uh, here's a little old change sticker, I guess, freshly changed. I guess that's the next service due. I'm gonna jump out and show you the other side. And I guess I'll go ahead and flip this forward for you. The back seats are perfect. Never been set in probably. It's got the mats, factory mats front and rear there here in the back too. Got, look, it's got the speakers back here. Look, isn't that cool? A lot of speakers. And there's the parade boot cover. Close this door, watch how that closes there. Oh, just nice, nice and solid, no rattles. Oh, then I go make a bunch of noise. There's our parade boot covers in perfect condition. It literally only took a, just like a two minutes to install as well. So, good to know. Back of it. All right. We've got the passenger door open and door panel is perfect again. No scratches, no issues. Just like brand new. Looking across the view right here, very cool view. And the passenger seat is perfect. Look at the uh, website, the pictures and the ambient light. We got so many shadows and weird lights here. It makes a lot of reflections and the tinting of the glass is making the seat look funky. See that right here? See, there's tinting on the glass and that's shining through, causing, throwing all kinds of colors there. So, <laughs> you see what I mean? See, there's your colors, but this seat is perfect manual. And it has lumbar too. Carpets, factory floor mats, and carpet underneath. I got the light shining in my eyes here. <laughs> this ain't working. Here, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Mustang dual airbags. A little shot of the console. All right, the best part. I'm gonna show you guys the drive. I've already done the drive, so it's kind of back to the future here. <laughs> Let's go on the drive. Rolling out in the Mustang. Oh man, another beautiful late March, 70 degree day. <laughs> and about seven o'clock, the sun's just kind of setting. Man, I've been timing these things just perfect with these convertibles. Absolutely loving it. Let's roll. 
<laughs> Side pipes are awesome. Alright. So we're in the Mustang GT. Basically, this car is as close to a new car as you could possibly imagine. It uh, runs and drives perfect. Suspension brakes. Tires are, are like new. Um, it's just a perfectly functioning car. We've actually, uh, we've put, geez, I don't know, over a thousand miles on this car personally. So really had a chance to enjoy it and drive it. So uh, do it, fly in, drive this thing home anywhere in the country. Um, <laughs> absolutely love this, this uh, deep violet. It's just so stunning. I'm gonna take some uh, pictures. Hopefully I catch some sunlight here and uh, get this car in. You know, in the shade, it looks really just dark purple. You get it in the sunlight, and it's OMG. So let's get up here to the light. <laughs> love, love, love this car. Here we go. hearing me I know that this thing is not really blowing you with the wind because I'm not getting hit at all with the wind just drives perfect nice thing here we've got the uh, you know the speedometers in kilometers but it has miles per hour on the lower ring of it so you can actually see your miles per hour which is really nice you don't have to do that calculations in your head but the car absolutely drives like new it really really does absolutely love this generation of Mustang. I love the little humps in the dash. Kind of gives that call back, you know, throwback look to it. Looks super nice. Whoever had this car, I'm telling you, they just, they spec'd it amazing. All the little details, and you can just tell that it was well loved. Alright, let's give the beans. And that never gets old. That 4.6 liter sounds so good, especially with the side pipes. It's really perfect. You know, I thought when I first, uh, the automatic clenching belts here, <laughs> sucked me up tight. I thought, you know, when I first saw this thing, I was like, man, I hope this thing isn't loud and obnoxious. But uh, no, it's absolutely perfect. You hear a little rumble. And man, the torque of this engine, it's a perfect combination with the five-speed manual transmission. With an automatic, you know, it, it just wouldn't be as fun. I mean, it's just the way it is. It just wouldn't be as engaging, wouldn't be as fun. But, uh, so absolutely love this car. What blows me away is the seats are so, they're supportive, but they're so cushy and so comfortable. Um, it's really amazing. I just that was not expected with this car and just how nice and comfortable it is to drive just such a great summer car you can use it year-round actually but obviously this time of year is just gonna be that's gonna be the bomb <laughs> just love that that power band is so smooth it revs to about six grand but you know I usually short shift at about 5500 because you can feel the horsepower kind of start to fall off there so no really point in revving it much past that. But uh, man, so if you want to see this car, make an appointment because I'll probably be in it. <laughs> so, well, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview and ride along and uh, like and subscribe if you would. Hit that notifications button because you never know when you might have your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring.
99 बस्ते